All right, hello Intrepid team uh, here at CES 2024. Uh, we are demonstrating our 10 base T1S demo, really highlighting MaxSec, and we're able to watch all of the traffic on this twisted pair ethernet in-vehicle network and monitor the traffic with the Intrepid tool here, which you can see the output using Wireshark on this monitor over here. Uh, in this demo, we've got three emulated ECUs. First one is the ECU that is driving our HVAC in the system, which we're showing with a fan and LED colors. I can control that via my touch panel here. So if I reduce the temperature, we send messages, as you can see, captured by the Intrepid tool, uh, where we have changed the color from red to blue and changed the fan speed as well. Uh, so that's operating as we would expect. Uh, second ECU is controlling a single servo via our knob here and then the third one is really tied into our touch display where we can control all of the servos all at once so everything's kind of behaving as you would expect at this point we do not have MacSec enabled which is a layer 2 security protocol for uh, Ethernet uh, the fourth board which I haven't described yet is the fun board this is an intruder board or an attacker board and so this represents somebody that may have infiltrated the network either physically within a rental car or a fleet or maybe through a bug in the Wi-Fi in the OS. Uh, in any event, they're able to send messages across the Ethernet. And so we can kind of wreak havoc on the system without MaxAC enabled. And so again, from the Intrepid tool, we see the messages now a lot more uh, going across the Ethernet. And so we are sending legit packets. You know, these messages are understandable, but we're reacting to any message um, without authentication at this point. So each of these ECUs has a trust anchor on the clickboard here. And the trust anchor does all of the cryptography, the authentication, and optional encryption. And so if I turn on MaxSec on all of these nodes, which I can kick off here, you'll see that we regain control of the bus. So from the Intrepid tool, now we have color-coded the messages that we're throwing away. So the attacker board is still flooding the bus with messages, but they're not authenticated, so we don't listen to them. We still listen to the messages that we want it to listen to. And so you can see kind of here on the screen through the Wireshark that we have the, the white messages are authorized messages and the red ones are, are discarded. And then finally, uh, we tie into kind of intrusion detection systems. So we have the ability to monitor the, the packets and count them through the Intrepid tool, which we're outputting here on our display. And on the display, we can see the packets that have been sent to each of the unique ECUs. And then the interesting part here is the attacker node. We can see that incrementing as we're sending uh, attacker node messages that are unauthenticated. So if you wanted to tie into an intrusion detection system, you could set a, a counter at 100 or 1,000 or whatever threshold you want to say at some point, I've reached my threshold of tolerance for unauthenticated messages, and now I may put some uh, alarm on the dashboard, whether it's a check engine or some other check network sort of thing, uh, and then you can take action uh, to regain control of your network. But in this case, we're showing that we have detection and prevention since they're still flooding the bus and we're able to react as we want to. So that is our MaxSec demo with Microchip Solutions along with Intrep.